Hey guys, Satima here with an Age of Empires video. The, this group of videos or playlist is just going to be one video per level, just to show you the basics of Age of Empires and beyond. Um, in this first level it is hunting, and while this game hasn't lived up to its ex um, yeah, hasn't lived up to its graphics anymore, it's not really that good. The gameplay is still amazing and it's one of the best games I've played for a long time. So yeah, so this time I've just got to create seven villagers which shouldn't be that difficult. I am playing on hardest mode as well. Right. So if we're hunting. Now you want to try and get the your meat as near as possible to your town hall otherwise it takes longer to get there and it loses meat while doing that so just bear with me now for the first few levels it will be quite slow starting out but it should hopefully get better as we move on Now it's, as you can see in the top left hand corner you have the wood, you have meat, you have gold and you have stone. Now you need 50 meat or food to get one villager so I'm just going to have to wait for 10 more then I can get it. And that should hopefully speed it up a little bit more. Now it has 114, 113 food left and it will slowly decrease over time so that's why I want to make of another villager. Now if you press F11 it can show you your time and your population with your limit which is just nice so that you can see how much population you need. So if I need seven I'm gonna have to build a house with this villager and that costs 30 wood which I, and I've got 50 so that's fine. Now I've just put the points up so that when later levels you can see other civilizations ones. I am at the moment an Egyptian and I will be doing a death match later on one of my older new one of my later videos. So just to show you like a big battle. And then we have Age of Empires 2, which we just got on the HDB Master. Um, I'm hopefully going to be doing a multi or me or Harry will be doing a multiplayer with Ewan um, with this game. Right, I nearly have enough food to get another villager. This is going to run out soon, but I can see some gazelles over there, so I'll go and get that. Now, even though there is loads of gazelles here, I'm going to only pick one so that I can get as much food out of that one, and I think that's all I'll be able to, well, all I'll need. <laughs> 
Now while I say the graphics haven't really aged well, I personally really like the music and while some of the grunts and groans from the people can get a bit annoying and are slightly repetitive, it is still quite good for the age and as I keep saying the the gameplay is just amazing and the AI is really really good for its time. Just the amount of content with where you have, I don't know, four or five level packs with the original game, and then with the expansion pack, you have another few as well. And it just keeps on going, and I personally haven't completed this game yet, since even since even having it since I was three. I think my dad started playing it as well, so that just shows you how big this game is. food to get. Now there is a problem with if it, when it changes to another bit of music then it does lag a little bit. But again that's fine. Now that that one's finished. Two left. As you can see, the production of villages, etc., has really sped up by now. Now we just have to wait and they can just gather some more food probably. Now, also, the amount of content it also includes history for each of the civilizations when you play through the level, the one on the collecting the well. And it's in such detail, it's amazing. Um, as I'll show you when it goes on to it. So, it, no, it's normally larger than this, but it's just a historical outcome and it just shows you, so if I leave it for a little bit for you to read it. Now, this is just my military, my economy, religion, technology, survival, wonder, total score, etc. And I think that's it. There's also timelines, etc. Um, I think that's it. Thank you and goodbye.